In this session, we're going to have a look at the use of screen templates in GOMO, which are a really quick way for you to be able to uh, build up screens. So let's take an example here. I'm building an assessment, and on each of the questions, I could build these up individually by adding a new screen and then adding in all of the individual assets. So in this case, I would add in the MCQ asset. I'd add in my text labels. I would then individually add in the subscreens, uh, which will give feedback to the learner. And then I could then manually link the question into those subscreens. So all of that will work. But there's a quicker way to be able to do this, and that's using screen templates. So if I want to add in another question here, I go to the navigator on the left-hand side, and where it says Add New Screen, I click the plus button just to the right of that. That gives me a drop down there, and I can select Add Screen from Template. So if I select that, this shows me all of the templates that we have available within GOMO. So we have some media types there, the presentations. So I could select things like comic strip and film strip, hotspot image. It will create templates for me immediately. And if I just scroll down, you can see all the other different types there. And here we're in the question section. And so for example, if I just want to take a multiple choice question, I can just click on multiple choice, shows me a green tick there showing me that that's selected. Click select, and here we go. It's added an entirely new screen for me, and now it's added in a template in here. So uh, immediately I can just go in and uh, so for example, here I could just uh, now just edit that. So I could put in say the question has the heading there and then just uh, go in here and it's already put in some dummy options so I could say uh, I'll just uh, take the default ones it's saying the first one's correct so I can just put in some options there obviously I can change all these just as you would as, uh, if you had added in the MCQ yourself and it's already added in subscreens and linked them in there. And we can see if I click the plus button, there we go. It's added in the, the subscreens with some dummy feedback text there. And it's added in a dummy image placeholder if I want to add in an image there. In this case, I'm going to say I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't want an image. Now all I have to do is click Save. And it just saves my topic there. And if I just preview that question, here we go, it just loads up this particular question screen. So here we have it, we have our multiple choice question with some dummy feedback screens. It's automatically by default given me four, given me the options here and I can try it again. There we go, and I get it right. So that's the use of screen templates, a quick way to be able to create a wide range of screen types.